Good morning, precious students. Each day we are getting closer to the last topic in science, Unit 5, which is changes to the Earth's surface. So for today, we will discuss about ways to prevent changes to land. For the learning objective, we have here to observe and compare multiple solutions to erosion. And what are these multiple solutions to erosion? So we will be discussing about windbreaks, beach grass, sandbags, and dike. I'm sure all of you are unfamiliar of these words, so we will begin discussing each of them. So windbreak. A windbreak is also called shelter belt. These are used by farmers to block the wind from blowing away rich soil by planting shrubs in trees. As you can see in the pictures, trees and shrubs are pl being planted at the side of the field. So the air or the wind then will change its direction so that the rich soil will not be blown away. The second one is beach grass. A beach grass is also called sand fence. It is like a fence that is used to help keep some of the sand from blowing away, just like this. Another one is what we call the sandbags. These are used as walls to keep the water from covering the land. And inside these bags are filled with sand or soil. It is used to control flood. This one is very sturdy. The fourth one is a dike. It is a wall by a river or another body of water that is used where the water often rises and falls. I'm sure you have seen this one. It could be made of rocks or made of concrete. So it is used to regulate or hold back water from river, lake, or even the ocean. So as a recap, what are the four ways to prevent changes to land. Excellent. So for your task today, I want you to choose one of those solutions to prevent changes to the land and comment your answer to this post. If you have any questions, don't forget to write a message. Bye-bye.